All right, we are back uh, with Christy from the Para Anything app. And uh, Christy and I run into each other all the time at wine <laughs> events. Uh, sometimes we'll talk and then sometimes we'll just see each other at a wine event. So, uh, you know, it was great that Foothill Wine Festival event that uh, all the wine judging right. you were there but we didn't get a chance to talk because you were working yeah it was yeah. the first ever um wine competition uh for the sierra foothill uh, right. wines yeah. and it was amazing it was. Be yeah. very well uh coordinated um with um the greater Folsom partnership yes and yes. crystal basin sellers and right. our we buddy were very mike owen yeah mike yeah. owen yeah. Yeah. <laughs> our yeah. buddy he, he, he was worked hard on that and, yes. and did a great job i think for the first one you know, and that, right. I'm sure, you know, you, you look and go, well, we can do this better. We can do that better. But for the first one, and I told him this, I said, man, you, you deserve a pat on the back. You, yeah. you put in a lot of work and I think it, it, I think you knocked it out of the park. Really, kind of Absolutely. The and, and, yeah. and that's, what's nice when you bring in, um, you know, the, the wine, the regional wine community together mm -hmm. and be able to kind of spotlight, uh, the best of the, the Sierra Foothill, uh, right. wines. Yeah. Yeah, true. And there were, I think, uh, 397 wines. There. Yeah. I think around 400 is oh, what yeah, I heard, but I mean, I don't yeah. know. I don't know if it was exactly 400. Right. And, you know, and, but, uh, yeah, that's and, a lot of wine. And we, and I, and I believe they just released, um, the, the right. award winners and, What's nice is yeah. that we have the uh, the public event coming up in November. I can't wait. I'm so a, we'll, we'll definitely uh, yeah. make a, a note of yeah. that to yeah. promote it. Yeah, and the funny thing is, is we went there kind of to help out my kind of, you know, just yes. kind of get some video. And I had never been at a wine judging event before and had no idea what, you know, what am I going to get? And so I just started filming everybody and we put it together. And now we've had some wine people that know a lot more about wine than I do say, wow, that video came out really good. And I'm like... <laughs> You're fingers, a master. Fingers crossed, <laughs> you know, because I had no idea what I was shooting. But, and uh, it was that nice was that you covered it because, uh, again, it was the first um, right, event. Right, the first one, yeah. And you had all these amazing right. uh, judges, um, you know, uh, sommeliers from the industry, from the oh, wineries, yeah. um, all coming in and with one mission of, you know, yeah. You know, promoting. The Sierra Foothills. Exactly. Yeah. It yeah. is a yeah. you know, remarkable uh, region. Really, um, just I, th I, yeah. I, I would say. Well, I think to around. have the vision to bring those together and to have uh, you know a wine competition kind of just reflecting the Sierra foothills uh, was much needed, right? Yes. Was much needed, and and now we've dived in with the first one, and uh, the water's fine. The water's <laughs> fine. The water's okay. You brought in some wine today. Yes. Uh, so uh, so there were a couple of, of wines that I had. Um, an opportunity uh, to um, help, uh, you know, support, you know, with, mm -hmm. with the judges. And so right. here's one, I think one of my favorites, uh, you know, Amador um, Barbera. Um, I okay. think we talked about yeah. this. Uh, yeah. It's just phenomenal. Oh yeah, you gotta uh, love the Barbera from Amador County. Yeah. There's uh, something very special uh, about the geography. It's very right. um, um, similar to uh, the Piemonte region uh, in yeah. uh, Italy. Wow. In fact, Piemonte means foot, of the mountain. Oh, really? Wow. And Sarah Foothills. <laughs> right, yeah. The, the, the Foothills of the mountain. There, yeah. And uh, that really says a lot about And the who's terroir. that from? That you have um, there? This one uh, was uh, one of the, the wines that were entered in okay. the competition. This is from Distachio. Distachio. Um, Barbera. Yeah. yeah. And, and so we're going to, I don't think I've had Distachio before. Me neither. Yeah, but is, Barbera I, from I Amador, I've it, had. Yeah. Oh, it, it just smells. Delicious. Yes. Already. And, and, and again, you know, this is uh, actually just a simple rule um, to always um, appreciate um, the, the aroma of the wine mm. um, and look at the color and it be able opens to... up the senses and uh, just that dark color that I just love on a Barbera. Don't you? I mean, yes. Mm. And I find Barbera to be very, um, a very cherry yes. type of flavor, huh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That is terrific. <laughs> that is terrific. <laughs> You can't stop with food, one. So. No, you, yeah, exactly. And it's very food friendly uh, as well. Um, it goes well with um, a lot of tomato based dishes, mm -hmm. um, pastas. Um, Why is it I always think steak though? Why is yes, it? You know, uh, I always think a, a, I'm a meat eater, as you can probably tell. Every time I go, that would be great with a steak. <laughs> or yes, ribs, and this or, will go yeah. well with, with that. You know, and, and again, it goes to its versatility. Right. Um, it's uh, nice. Um, this one's um, light, medium bodied. And also, um, it's got um, nice acidity as mm. well. That's perfection in a glass, right there, huh? That is terrific. That is. I really love that slogan, "Perfection yeah. in a glass." Yeah, it's like a story in a bottle. A story in a bottle, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great having you in, Christy, and uh, I just think you guys have, have so many things going on, and you're coordinating with all these wineries to 
kind of get the word out and then you know you're offering people kind of wine solutions as they go hey i'm having this for dinner what's a what's a good wine to pair with that yeah i mean you know for the wineries uh what we want to do is uh really bridge the digital divide for them to um right. to be able to reach out to overlook and underserve or emerging you know consumers and do that through technology right. um, be able to um, reach outside your geographic footprint and as we saw right. in in covid um, right. it was very much needed um, to be able to reach out right. to uh, you know wine consumers um, when the tasting rooms were closed right. and so through a, a digital uh, platform like pair anything mm -hmm. um, they can um, make suggestions right. uh, and recommend wines um, such right. as this one right. but also they have an opportunity to learn about um, their customers what they like um, what they're buying and then hopefully they will to personalize that experience when they're eventually able yeah, and to I come also to I also room. think that it's about bringing in that next generation to the wine tasting the wine experience right it, it's about kind of educating somebody who may not have a lot of experience uh, of going to a tasting room yes and 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 the emerging consumers is, is definitely very much uh, near and dear to us because um, right. we want them to be able to have a, a great experience in discovering wine right. not to be put off by it not to think that it's, it's, it's pretentious mm -hmm. to make it really approachable uh, and there's nothing better than uh, introducing wine through food pairings because right. um, it's, it's something that really elevates our dining experience and it's so communal too when you think about it Great family word. friends yes. it, it brings us together as we open that bottle of wine together yes. as we share yes. a bottle of wine we become friends right i kind of say all the time i say it's always nice making new wine friends <laughs> right because if, if you go to a winery you're in a good mood right yes. you're, you're looking to have fun you either brought some friends with you you're meeting friends or you're making new ones or you brought some family and you wanted to show them your favorite winery and and, and kind of treat them to an experience that you adore. And, and so I think that that's, to me, it's a communal type of thing when we relate through a glass or a bottle of wine. Very well said. It's a communal experience. And that's what it's all about is bringing you know, it together and elevating uh, the experience. I, I, I love what you said, uh, Rex. <laughs> and I was just gonna just mention about the emerging consumers. Um, uh, we started, um, a TikTok account. Oh, did and, you? And okay. so it's it's kind of like our our, our entryway um, okay. to be able to reach out um, to uh, you know people and, and make it fun. Yeah, uh, it's all about um, yeah fun. having fun. Yeah, I mean any way you can create fun. I've done TikTok from time to time, and then I've went away from it. And then I'm gonna check you out. Yeah, but I do reels. And, and yes. I'm having some success with Reels just because we're already on Instagram and mm -hmm. folks maybe are used to seeing some of our stuff. And, and, and Reels is real similar to TikTok, kind of anyway. Um, but I mean, I think anywhere you can go, there's so many social media platforms, anywhere you can go that you can kind of have fun, uh, you know, I think is a, a great idea for any business or anybody just to, you know, get a laugh every once in a while. Well, right? Rex, maybe we could do a... Um a challenge together. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm up for a, I'm up for a TikTok I'm, challenge. I'm throwing out the gauntlet. <laughs> it sounds fun to me. It sounds fun to me. Uh, one thing that we would love to invite you to do is go to your guys' Facebook page, which is Pair Anything. App. Yes. Uh, pair anything and uh, you can check out some stuff on the Facebook page and also there it'll let you know how you can get the app right absolutely yeah. um, and, and you could go directly also to you know app.pairanything.com right uh, it's uh, web-based so you can access it from any browser right so that's that's great and that's handy right there and you know next time before you go wine tasting or just uh, planning dinner tonight right right it'll come in handy and uh, and if you use the the check-in feature um you might get a surprise from the wineries that you visit oh wow a little bonus a little wine bonus we like that yeah so uh, definitely check it out the pair anything app christy thanks so much for being with us again always a pleasure rex thank you all right we'll catch you later it's the rex show podcast